Hello, I'm Yvonne Silov. I'm an Associate Director at HQIP, and in the next few minutes or so, I'm going to tell you a little about HQIP, our data sets, and our data application process to help you plan your project and direct your questions effectively. Research and innovation using existing healthcare data sets are powerful tools for improving care and saving lives. As data applicants, you need to understand the features of the data available to you and how to access the data you will need. The Health Data Research Innovation Gateway will help you discover data sets that might be useful to your project. Once you have identified some possible data sets, you'll want to learn more about the data custodian, their data access processes, the nature of their data, and whether it will meet your needs. The Healthcare Quality Improvement Partnership, HQIP, is a non-profit making organisation dedicated to supporting data-driven healthcare improvement. We commission national clinical audits, registries and outcome review programmes on behalf of NHS England and the devolved nations. Our projects use data collected from across the NHS and we provide reports on the quality and outcomes of clinical care to help clinical teams and commissioners measure and improve the care provided. Projects in our National Clinical Audit and Patient Outcomes Programme cover medical, surgical and mental health topics in adults and children, and nearly all providers of relevant services submit data to our projects. HQIP commissions these national data projects, but we do not process any of the data ourselves. Other organisations run the projects under contract to HQIP. They bring together professionals and patients to design the projects, flow the data, and support the use of data for improvement. In doing so, they act as our data processor organisations. These teams are often located in medical royal colleges, universities, or NHS organisations. So why does all this matter to data applicants? Many data custodian organisations, such as NHS Digital, approve applications and then go on to distribute the requested data to the applicant from within the same organisation. But HQIP is different. HQIP relies on the external teams at our data processor organisations for three main activities. Firstly, to advise applicants early on in the process about the data, including its availability and suitability for their proposed project. Secondly, to recommend to HQIP whether the applicant's project represents a legitimate use of the data likely to achieve the public benefit envisaged. And thirdly, to distribute the requested data to the applicant after HQIP has approved the application. HQIP's data processor organisations sometimes convene their own scientific committees to provide a systematic and equitable review of the data applications in order to make the recommendation to HQIP on whether the data is suitable for the proposed purpose. HQIP's Data Access Request Group is the ultimate decision maker on the application because that is our role as data controller. We only review data applications after they have been signed by both the data applicant and the project leads from the relevant data processor team. We review all aspects that focus particularly on how legal and regulatory requirements will be met. Approval completes with HCRIP's signature being added to the application. The document also includes the terms and conditions of the data sharing agreement that then binds all parties. So, to recap. HQIP as data controller is the authority releasing data to data applicants. The details of our access process are on our website, including dates of meetings and data access costs. Our website also includes information about each of our commissioned data programs and the organisations leading them. HQIP's data and the detailed knowledge and expertise on that data sits with our processor teams in these other organisations. Data applicants will need to engage with the relevant team before submitting an application to HQIP. Each project team also publishes dedicated web pages where you'll find out more details about the data, how the project teams support data applicants, and any access costs they levy to cover their costs supporting the access process. Remember also that the Innovation Gateway is a convenient portal for finding out more about the datasets. 
HDR UK and HCRIB are working together to offer a future online application mechanism. Thank you for your interest in HCRIP and our data. We wish you every success in your future data projects.